Let us look more closely at creating a basic pattern on the melody oracle. To do that, we will look at the two different types of zones, registers, and intervals. First, the registers. As mentioned earlier, the registers are for generating patterns of gates for the three octaves of the synthesizer. You must have a gain piece on at least one contact in at least one of the registers to hear any sound from the melody oracle. The seven pattern speed contacts in each zone select on and off switching behavior for that zone. They are arranged with the fastest frequency of switching in the upper right, and the slowest on the upper left. Each contact switches at half the speed of the previous one, as you go clockwise from the top right contact to the top left. By combining different contacts in different registers, interesting overlapping octave patterns are created. You may place any combination of pieces within each zone, creating complex rhythmic patterns. The inversion contact of the zone causes the whole pattern of that zone to invert, meaning the pattern will switch to off, where it was once on, and vice versa. Now let us move on to the intervals. As mentioned previously, the intervals are how you create melodic note patterns in the melody oracle. Each of the three interval zones is assigned a number. The bottom zone is 1, the left interval zone is 2, and the right interval zone is 4. This is a 3-bit binary system, where the different permutations of adding the three interval zones allow for 8 different note selections. Here you can hear and see how the three interval zones are added to output eight different modes. By placing game pieces on the different speeds of switching contacts within the interval zones, melodic patterns are created. By additionally placing game pieces on the switching contacts for the registers, different octaves of that bass pattern are switched in and out, creating patterns that seem to be more than the sum of their parts.